Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I change my AMI BIOS flash screen logo. Uh, before you proceed, uh, take note that I don't take any responsibilities if you ever break or corrupt your system, so you must proceed at your own risk. Okay, uh, so if you ever have a similar BIOS version, or you can try this. If you um, have a different version, you can also try this. And um, so let's head to uh, let's get started already. So first thing I did was I did uh, I head over to system information and check for my motherboard model and the manufacturer. So here is my motherboard model, the baseboard product, and then this is the manufacturer. If it doesn't show here, it might show up over here in the system manufacturer and system model. And the next thing you want to do is download the BIOS firmware for your um, motherboard model. So I head over to Google and then I typed in my manufacturer. I got into the their website and then I head to the BIOS section, BIOS support section. And then what you want to do here is type in your motherboard model or the baseboard product and then click on submit and then the download you you have to download your BIOS firmware and if there are other things that showing up uh, uh, different versions you must download the latest version or the same version as what you are using so I have already downloaded my uh, BIOS firmware what you are going to do is extract the folder uh, I mean extract the file to a folder or you can just extract it on your desktop but I'm um, gonna extract it on this folder uh, changing splash screen okay and then I'm gonna extra extract the file here if uh, you need to extract it if you have to so here's my bias um, file mm, yeah extract it over here and here's what it looks like there is a ro it's a wrong file Okay, the next thing you want to do is download the tool. I, I'm going to be providing this in the description. And then uh, you extract it here again. And the third file that we are going to need is the image that you want to use. Okay, so that's it. There's three files. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to run the tool and load the firmware file and we are gonna um, uh, test if the tool detects your splash screen logo so I'm gonna save the logo and put it over here ok I'm gonna rename it as original splash screen ok so here we are going to open the uh, file that we saved. So here it showed my original BIOS flash screen. So uh, we can say that it did detect uh, the tool did detect the uh, BIOS flash screen. And the next thing that you want to do is um, look for the uh, details of the original BIOS flash screen image file. And here is the dimensions, 800 times 600. That's uh, the aspect ratio of aspect ratio of this is for square monitors. So now we are going to edit our um, uh, the we are going to edit the image that we want to use. So here uh, I'm gonna be um, editing this. I'm gonna use these. Um, editing tool from uh, default the default editing tool from Windows 10 I'm gonna select on white screen and then make it landscape I'm just gonna crop this photo just gonna click on save and um, the next thing you wanna do if you wanna um, put some text to it you can use uh, you can just use paint or other softwares or you wanna if you wanna edit this photo you can use Adobe Adobe Photoshop or any other softwares so let me just add some text real quick ok 
Okay, so now after uh, after editing your photo, you can just hit and click save. Okay, after after doing so, we are going to need to resize the photo the say as the same as the original by splash screen dimensions. So we are going to select the quality to max and then the dimension should be the same as the original splash screen. Okay, I'm gonna save it now. You save it over here. Um, um, I'm just gonna rename it as um, Splash Screen Replacement. Okay, and then after saving it, check it if it worked. Okay, now let's compare. It has the same dimensions now and the same aspect ratio. What you are going to do next is um, head over to the file again to this to this tool and then load the BIOS firmware and then you want to select the photo. You can use uh, all files and then you want to look uh, you want to look for the edited photo that you wanna um, use I'm gonna use this then click open and then just replace the logo and this is gonna show up logo type jpeg that um, not supported by BIOS do you want to replace the BIOS uh, the logo just uh, click on yes and then it should pop up here a uh, new logo as is created and then you wanna save image as you wanna save it to your uh, BIOS file just click on replace it success and that's how you change your bias splash screen logo all you need to do is um, flash this bias file and I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna show you how I, ch I flash my bias firmware because uh, it varies from system to system and how you do it uh, you should just do a Google search for it okay so that's how I change my bias splash screen and um, if you have any questions just comment comment on this video and please hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for uh, my next videos thank you god bless